Do you know how to problem solve using dimensional analysis? Hmm, first let's think about what that means. What is dimensional analysis? If you think about dimensional analysis, the first thing you might see is the word dimension in here. So we know that dimensions have to do with measurements. And we can measure lots of different things. We can measure weight, we can measure heights and lengths, we can measure time. No matter what we're measuring, there are different units that are used to measure these things. Let's take time for instance. We know that there's seconds, that there's minutes, hours, days, etc. And each of these has a relationship to each other. When we analyze these relationships, we can solve problems. Let's take a look at a problem where we can use dimensional analysis and solve it. It is a beautiful September day. How many minutes are in the month of September? Here is the question that we're going to solve. Now, you can already look at the units used in the question. We have minutes and we have month. And so you can automatically assume that we are going to be looking at time. The qu first question to ask yourself is, what do you know? What do you know about units of time? Well, first, we can start with minutes. We know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. Next, we know that there's 24 hours in one day. September is a month, and we know that there are 30 days in September. Now that we've written down what we know, we are going to take each of these equivalents and write them in fraction form. Here is what that looks like. Now notice that this is written as a multiplication problem and when we use dimensional analysis that is what we're going to do. Now we're going to look at canceling out the units that are in common. So we have hours here and hours here that can cancel. We have days here and days here that we can cancel. Now notice that we wanted to know how many minutes are in a month and we have minutes in the numerator and months left in the denominator. Now let's write this and combine what we can multiply together. So we have 60 times 24 times 30 minutes left in the numerator and we have one month left in the denominator. When we multiply the, numer the terms in the numerator together, we get 43,200 minutes are in one month. And in this case, that month is the month of September. This is our final answer, and our work is complete.